So I just got finished watching Ubisoft's E3 uh, conference and we got to see a lot of insane games. Ubisoft definitely took the crown so far. We haven't seen Sony yet, but Ubisoft are miles ahead in terms of EA and Microsoft. Um, so many titles that I'm interested in, but we're gonna focus on one thing and that is the Crew 2. Now we got to see the Crew 2's kind of reveal. A couple of weeks ago, they revealed uh, a logo and told us that, you know, it's taking it beyond the road um, or something on those lines. And it kind of had people thinking. Now we've got to see actual gameplay now and we know that there are planes and boats in the Crew 2. Now, at first I was completely turned off by this. My initial reaction was, I'm not interested in boats or planes, I just want cars please and bikes. Um, and I kind of was a bit ignorant towards it. My initial reaction wasn't very positive. But after watching a bit of gameplay, we've seen some gameplay which I've seen on the screen now uh, and, and the trailer and stuff, I can say that I, I'm not completely, completely uh, over the fact that there are planes and boats but I'm, I'm a lot more happy because it seems that the, the cars are the base of the game. It's their, it's their core thing. Uh, and that's what I go to the crew for, cars. Now, I didn't play much of the crew uh, after the first DLC was put out, which was a wild, wild run. I played that a bit and I kind of got bored of it. Uh, I felt like I did everything and it was just a bit exhausting at that point. I didn't feel like upping my level was rewarding in any way and I just kind of gave up with the game as a whole. But this one seems a lot more refined. It seems like what they wanted to put out at the start. And that's why I'll always give sequels a chance because sequels, a lot of the time, are refined versions of their uh, pre-games. Uh, so I, I am definitely open to playing it. Another thing I noticed was the physics. They seem to be a lot more heavy. The cars seem to be a lot more grounded even though they were jumping literally from building to building, but bar that, when they were on the actual tarmac, the physics seemed to be a lot heavier. I don't know if that's gonna make it better or worse, but the, the physics from just first glance look different. Along with that, we haven't seen anything about customization or specs. Whether specs will return to the game, we don't know. Uh, personally, I did like that system, but I wouldn't mind if they just went in with just upgrading your car as a normal racer usually would. In fact, that would probably make the game feel a lot more free and flexible when it comes to customizing your car. Uh, one thing I really didn't like about the specs is that when you did upgrade your car to a certain spec, you, you couldn't really run stock looks or, or, or cleaner looks. It was very much about how uh, the spec affected the appearance and I don't know if that's a, an issue for a lot of people but it was a personal uh, a personal problem for me. Now there seems to be four ways to play the crew too and they've kind of given, given them their own names and uh, themes. So you've got the spot, the pit, base camp and the barn. Uh, so you've got one that's street racing, one that's pro racing, one that's off road racing and one that's freestyle. Now I'm assuming the street racing is mainly cars uh, or bikes. I'm assuming the pro racing is again cars and bikes or maybe everything. Uh, Off-road is obviously the off-road cars and bikes. And you've got freestyle, which I'm going to guess that's where the speedboats and the stunt planes come in. Or everything might spread across everything. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but it seems to be that they're going in a direction that they wanted to go with the wild run with all this. Um, very open worldish, very uh, stunts and, and stuff. You can drive on roofs and all that in your cars. It is a lot different to the first crew and that's probably why I'm giving it such high praise. It seems to be a step in a different direction. It seems to be a progress and they want to bring something new to the table. I will always give praise to ambitious things and this definitely seems ambitious. I'm, I'm, I'm not as excited as I thought I would be. I very much would have preferred a test drive-esque game with sort of more uh, focus on car culture itself, but that's kind of asking a lot. I said this about Need for Speed. Need for Speed seems to be going in a direction that is a lot more action-based. Um, not to say that they're taking all the car culture away. For me, I love cars. I love making a car my own and taking pictures of it and just admiring it as well as uh, driving it very fast. Uh, but I can appreciate 
ambitious things like I said so I'm definitely gonna pick up the crew too you can sign up for beta access right now I'll put that in the uh, description below so you can go and do that yourselves and I guess that's where a lot of people will uh, put in their opinions and hopefully I get in so I can give it a taste and uh, test it out for myself personally the first crew game overall as an experience wasn't the best in my opinion of a racing game it's not even in my top 10 I wouldn't say and um, that's that's something uh, I, because the crew was very ambitious I remember seeing it at that E3 that year it came out and it seemed like they were going in the direction Need for Speed needed to go at the time and I, I had a lot of hope for it uh, but overall it wasn't my favorite game um, and I was hoping that they would come with something a lot more drastic in the next game I'm happy to say that I am impressed at least um, I'm not jumping out the window I'm not jumping up and down screaming but I am impressed in some ways so what do you guys think let me know what you guys think about the crew 2 in the comments below let's have a conversation about this like comment subscribe and I will see you in the next installment thank you for watching